Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Now today, I have for you guys an awesome 800k squad builder and I haven't uploaded over the past few days and I have been pretty busy and really haven't been that motivated to upload to be honest, but I'm gonna be uploading a lot more often and if you guys do enjoy, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new and let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do wanna see next. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start building this team. The goal Goalkeeper is gonna be from La Liga and we're gonna be going with Ter Stegen, the best goalkeeper on FIFA 20. This guy's broken, 90 reflexes, 6 foot 2, quite good on 1v1s and for about 45k that isn't a bad price. He is actually insane in game, a lot better than Courtois than De Gea, just an awesome goalkeeper. In the center back on the left hand side we're gonna be going with Eder Molotau, the most broken center back on FIFA 20. This guy in game is incredible. Doesn't play like he's only 81 rated, just insanely fast, really good defensively, really agile, not too bad on the ball either. For the price you're paying about 2k, you can't go wrong. And the left back, it is going to be the Brazilian Alexandro. He has had a bit of a pace downgrade but still one of the best left backs on the game. Almost every stab of 75, 11, quite good on the attack and not too bad defensively. 91 stamina so he doesn't get tired. In the center back on the right hand side, it is going to be a player from La Liga. That is going to be Varane, the best center back in this league. This guy in game is insanely fast, especially for a center back 80 through pace and having 86 sprint speed with a chemistry style makes him really quick and he's quite agile as well, 6 foot 3, medium high work rate, one of the more expensive players in this team, about 100k, so not a bad price. You can also go off Langlet who's really similar, but I do think Varane is a bit better. He does have, as I've said, incredible pace, defensively he's a tank and it does have 86 strength, 83 reaction, 77 ball control, one of the best center backs on FIFA 20 and the right back, it is going to be the Portuguese Nelson Semedo. This guy's a perfect right back, he does have 92 2 pace, 81 dribbling, 510, 4 shot skills, medium high work rates which are perfect, very good defensively, really good on the attack as well, has awesome agility, 91 stamina, 81 stand tackle for about 4k, an awesome player, and that right there has been the back line. The center mid on the right hand side, it is going to be a center forward, that is going to be Griezmann, and this guy this year is broken, he does have an awesome left foot, a really good finesse shot, 4 shot skills, 81 pace, so not the fastest, but really isn't slow, and on the ball this guy is incredible, 90 agility, 92 reactions, 90 ball control, not the weakest player either, he's actually quite physical, for about 60k this guy is a steal, probably the best striker under 100k, this guy does so much damage, plays really well as a central cam, especially with the work rates being high high he helps on the attack and also defensively and the stamina is quite good so he doesn't get tired then the middle center mid is going to be a premier league player that is going to be fabinho he has had a bit of a pace downgrade but really doesn't feel that slow in game he's a complete rock in that midfield and does have 85 defending 6-2 medium high work rates has really good positioning intercepts everything and is really strong is okay on the ball but he is a bit clunky for the price you're paying about 10k, not a bad player at all. And the final midfielder on the left hand side, it is going to be a Serie A player, that is going to be Alan, my favorite CDM on FIFA 20, this guy in game is just way too good, he's basically like a cheap Conte, he does have every stab of 70, medium high work rates, 4 shot skills, only about 10k, so a fraction of the price of Conte, and look at those in-game stats right there, they're just perfect where it matters, he has an incredible defensive stats, physically he has 94 stamina, 90 aggression, nice passing and on the ball he's actually very good he does have 84 ball control 86 balance and really agile as well he feels really fast in game a lot faster than 75 pace for the price you're paying you can't buy a better cdm the only one I would take over him honestly is Kante. So that right there has been the midfield. The left forward is going to be Mane, one of the more expensive players. About 180k so he is a bit on the expensive side. But for how he plays in game he actually isn't that expensive. He's just incredibly fast. Has an awesome shot. Really good on the ball. Really complete winger. 4 star 4 star. Just an incredible pace as I've said. Looking at the in-game stats, 87 finishing, really good on the ball, 92 agility, 90 reactions, not the weakest player either, and he does have 85 stamina so he doesn't get tired. Just for 180k, that isn't a bad price. The best left wing after Neymar, 
you can play him as a winger, as a cam, even as striker. This guy does so much damage. And the right forward is going to be his teammate Salah. He's a bit cheaper, about 135k. And they're both really similar. Salah does have 93 pace, 89 dribbling, 74 physical, 3 star, 4 star. That's really the only issue he has, but he has an awesome left foot. An incredible finesse shot, especially outside the box. Looking at the in-game stats, they're quite impressive. An incredible pace. Really good finishing for a winger, 90 finishing, 84 long shots, nice passing, on the ball this guy is one of the best, 91 agility, 88 balance, 91 composure, so you know he's not gonna miss, and then he does have 85 stamina, 73 strength, so not the weakest player either. And the final player, the striker, it is gonna be a center forward, that is gonna be Sun. And this is the first time I'm using him. I've only used him in draft and he's been incredible. He is about 200k on the market and after playing with him a couple games, this guy's one of the best strikers in the Prem. I would take him over Aguero, over Aubameyang. Just over most strikers, I think the only one that is better actually is the Scream Aguero and also the Informane. But other than that, this guy in game is just broken. He does have 88 pace, 86 shooting, 87 dribbling, 6 foot. High high work rates, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills, that's one of the main reasons why he's so good, he can shoot on either foot, and looking at the in-game stats, he has a decent pace, does feel actually pretty fast in game, very good finishing, nice passing, an incredible dribbling, not the best balance, but that really didn't affect him, he felt quite smooth on the ball, this guy had a big impact in game, I did play him as a striker in the 4-2-3-1, and he was very effective, plays really well as a lone striker, so that right there has been the team built for about 800k, an awesome team. Now showing you guys how it does play in game, I do play in the 4-2-3-1, we go ahead and play Alan and Fabinho as the CDMs, Mane, Salah and Griezmann as the cams, then as Striker, Sun, that's how the team does play best, you can also play in the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation, and go ahead and play Griezmann as a center mid, he actually plays really well in that position, and I'll show you guys my player instructions, I set the right back on left back on stay back while attacking, the CDMs on cut passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover center, the cams on stay forward, and the striker on stay forward, getting behind, and stay central so those right there are my player instructions go ahead and copy them see if they work for you and again that right there has been the 800k team built an awesome team plays really well in division rivals and for champions it can basically compete against anyone the back line is insane really doesn't concede too many goals the goalkeeper is the best on the game that midfield of alan and fabinho are really solid then on the attack this team scores me so many goals and if you guys do want to make the team a bit cheaper you can always go ahead and use any striker from the prem like aguero or lacazette and then go ahead and get someone like Langlet instead of Varane. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you have. Subscribe if you're new. It's been ETG. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.